يا الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says إذ يتلقى المتلقيان with two receivers two receivers one the right and one the left إذ يتلقى المتلقيان عن اليمين that means right وعن الشمال that means left قعيد sitting their their job to sit in every shoulder waiting for what ما يلفظ the word لفظ in Arabic language is too meaning for it لفظ to speak a لفظ لفظ when the person eating something and throw it up put it لفظ ما يلفظ anything comes out of your mouth any word anything even we are sick and you said ah oh, those angels one of these stones all are writing down that ah ما يلفظ ما يلفظ من قول any statement anything you say إلا لديه رقيب عتيد this angel and this angel let's go back to ayah number 18 إذ يتلقى المتلقيان look at that 16 We said we, there's no secret. There's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watching and he is the best of the witnesses is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Over this, Allah sent you these two angels the moment you become mature, reach the age of puberty. Allah sent these two angels sitting on the right and in the left your shoulder waiting for anything you sing. They are writing down records. That's why on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the records. All the records Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell you. And he will tell. You will tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabb, say, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you're telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you never lift anything. Or is everything written? Written, small or big? صغيرة أو كبيرة صغيرة أو كبيرة small act small statement small word أو كبيرة أو big it is written there سبحان الله رب العالمين ما لهذا الكتاب لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها what kind of book is this is nothing left Small bit is written there? Yes, the answer is yes. إذ يتلقى المتلقيان عن اليمين وعن الشمال قعيد ما يوفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد Allah sent these two angels writing everything and alhamdulillah by the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He made the right shoulder The angel on the right shoulder, the boss, the supervisor of the one in the left. So when we are always asking Allah for forgiveness, for istighfar and for forgiveness, my dear brothers and sisters, what happened here? When you for, you're committing the sin and you forget to ask Allah for forgiveness, this angel, the right one, telling, the right one, telling uh, The left one, don't write it down yet. Don't write it down. He might ask Allah for forgiveness. And some scholar says, sometimes make him completely forget to write it down. The sin, and on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring that person. Only him and Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remind him that person with that specific sin. Remind him with the sin. You're committing that sin. And now what? That person says, Ya Rabbi, halakt. I'll be vanished, destroyed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I'll forgive you. May Allah forgive all of us, my dear brothers and sisters. إِذْ يَتَلَقَّ الْمُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ There's two angels. One writing all good deeds, all good statements, all good things. And the second one, writing the rest. Everything else, the sin, the bad deeds, and things, there is no value for it. For example, if I move this bottle of water from here to here, this angel write it down that. 
on Thursday when the records goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Thursday this action will be removed out of the book and only the acts what you do, what you say it goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said I love for my records to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Thursday I love to be fasting on that day when my records go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those angels writing, sitting there writing imagine my dear brothers and sisters and the best example is for Allah the best example for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take the example of the dunya if you walk in the company and your supervisor always watching you your manager or supervisor always looking at you always supervising you you will do excellent job you will do an excellent job and the moment your supervisor going somewhere you will sit like this because out of fear of your supervisor you are working but imagine well, the best example is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah watching you 24 hours since you are inside the womb of your mother until the moment you die until you are in the Jannah or in the hellfire walayyadu billah see this kind of raqaba raqaba that we watching over us and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam every Friday when he making khutbah al-jum'ah one of the ayat he recited from surah al-nisa ya ayyuha al-nas attaqu rabbakum say in the end inna Allah ayah number one in surah al-nisa inna Allah kana alaykum raqiba inna Allah indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over you watching you watching you yes yes watching us my dear brothers and sisters so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala min qawl any statement and any word the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said in a beautiful hadith قَالْ أَرَّجُلُ مِنْكُمْ يَقُولُ الْكَلِمَةِ the man among us or the woman among us say one word one word that word it will put the person وَالْعِيَادُ بِاللَّهِ in the hellfire or one word put the person in the jannah insha'Allah one word because you never know after this one word what's going to happen to you that's why Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha and this message for my sisters and my brothers as well see Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha when she was talking about Safiya and she want to tell the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Safiya is short woman and she what did in her hand like this that was short and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was very angry and he said oh Aisha you say a word but why if this word mixed in the ocean it will change the taste of the ocean change it is that biting slandering talking with no nothing with no value of the talking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold you accountable either you talk good or you be silent you text good or you be silent, you email good, or you be silent because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold you accountable of all this time you are wasting if you are wasting. My dear brothers and sisters, there is no time to waste. I don't understand how those people in the phone for hours and hours and hours and every single moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us about this time, this moment. May Allah protect us from that. May Allah protect us from that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our, our iman and our taqwa and our fear. Life is not easy, my dear brothers and sisters. It's really hard to reach the Jannah. It is not easy. To reach the paradise is not easy. To reach Al-Firdaus Al-A'la or Jannah al naim it is not easy. You have to work hard for it. مَا يَلْفِذْ مِنْ قَوْلِ Anything you said, one word, my dear brothers and sisters, is make war between countries. What happened? Look at happened in Iraq. Because someone said there is a, a weapon of mass destruction in Iraq. Look, millions of people dying in Iraq every day because of that word. And what lies? 
Because one lie, this has happened. Because one lie, in the divorce between man and woman. Because one lie, makes separation between father and mother and, and family. Because one small lie. We have to watch this tongue. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told Mu'adh, and he was holding his tongue in his hand, what we put the people in the, on their faces on hell fire, what they committed by their tongue. Their tongue. The poetry, Imam Shafi, Rahimullah said, beautiful poetry. احفظ لسانك أيها الإنسان لا يلدغنك أنه ثعبان كم في المقابر من قتيل لسانه كانت تخاف لقائه الشجعان Beautiful poetry الإمام الشافعي says احفظ لسانك say keep your tongue or inside your mouth or insan man or human being لا يلدغنك أنه ثعبان this tongue will bite you like a snake boy is in a snake boy is in a snake Come from Maqabir bin Qatir al A lot of people on the graves because what they committed by their tongues. The, the hearers, the strong people, they will be afraid of that person, the one in the grave. We have to be careful, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. We have to be careful of that tongue. Because that tongue will put us in the Jannah, inshallah, or somewhere else. It is in your hand now. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for everything you committed in the past and open a new page with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just you are flipping the page of this Quran and say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's what's supposed to be, my dear brothers and sisters, from today on because you never know. Whenever also Imam al-Shafi, he make another poetry. قال ما بين غمضة عين وانتباهتها يغير الله من حال إلى حال. Between the blink of the eye, blink of the eye, غمضة, close and open. Between غمضة عين وانتباه يغير الله. Allah will change from state to another state, situation to another situation. My advice, I advise myself first, and I advise you, my dear brothers and sisters. To open a new page from today on. Because what I saw, what I saw in Japan, this scared me to death. Maybe it happened anywhere, in any place. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. Amen. Amen. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد. And listen carefully to the ayah number 19. وجاءت سكرة الموت بالحق ذلك ما كنت منه تحيد وجاءت سكرة الموت بالحق لا إله إلا الله سكرة الموت the stubber of death the pain of death it will come جاءت سكرة الموت with the truth the reality ذلك ما كنت منك متحيز. But you are running. Always we are running away from death. We don't, we don't want to die. Those thousands of thousands of people in Japan, they died a few days ago. My dear brothers and sisters, they died. But they don't know. Definitely they have plans and plans and hundreds of plans. In fact, thousands of thousands of plans. They have plans, lists to do, an agenda. And look what happened with this earthquake, and after the earthquake, tsunamis, and after the tsunamis, an earthquake, an earthquake, and hundreds of earthquakes after that happened. Do you think those people preparing themselves? No, I doubt. I doubt if they are preparing themselves. Just like us, and I'm talking us as the Muslims also, we are, are we preparing for that moment if this Tsunami happened to me now or not? That's why, my dear brother and sister, we must open this page with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We must open it now, this moment, this second. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ And sakra, the word sakra is the pain of the death. Even our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was dying in 12 of Rabi'i al-Awwal, he was dying. He was 
in severe pain, very high temperature, and he killed Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, ya Aisha, wallahi inna lal